Good morning, folks. Good day to be an observer. A couple meteors here racing through the night sky in Russia, if you didn't catch those yesterday. Folks, a large earthquake struck a few hours ago in the Red Alert Star region covering the southern islands of Asia. The December climate report is out. We've got weather and more around the world, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com. And folks, the last day on our star wasn't much to speak of. Solar minimum feels like it's here already. And this, folks, that's about the most violent thing on the Earth-facing disk. Puny. Solar wind is calming towards ambient conditions as well, with the speed dropping out. One stream ends, and so does its chances to make geomagnetic storms. We could, of course, see them when the next stream arrives from the central coronal hole. This shot is from three days ago, and as you can see, it looks like a lone, tight little donut hole crossing the disk. But today, we know better. That thing extended further to the left than was visible, and with the CME set to couple overnight, Yesterday, in addition to this alert map, we added a global excess magnitude warning from the 10th through the 12th, not just for magnitude 6, but 6.5 and higher. Less than eight hours later, the Philippines struck with a magnitude 7.3. This event had no chance of producing a tsunami because it struck at the transition zone, the earthquake floor, deep, deep at the discontinuity, and at that depth, this is a blot echo itself. Folks, real quick, if you don't know where to find the largest earthquake scoreboard, listing in order the largest quake striking during the existence of the current forecasting model, and whether or not it was in the alert zone. Of course, now we have to update the list as this was the fifth largest event to occur since the model began real-world forecasting. FYI, as some of you said, the full list of predictions wasn't as easy to find these days. I've now put it right below the scoreboard on QuakeWatch.net. Link takes you to the postings, maps, links for you to verify so you never have to just trust me and take my word for it. And also, that's where we post the excess magnitude warnings. Anyway, you want to read something far out? A new work suggests that perhaps our moon did not form from a giant impact with the Earth. The proto-moons that came from proto-Earth impacts, maybe, but they might have collided and what survives today is the moon. But these folks say it wasn't an impact to Earth itself. Very interesting piece for sure, but they've got a long uphill battle to climb against the accepted genesis hypotheses. The U.S. climate report for December is out. If you remember guarantees at the end of November of another warmest year on record, whoops, Noah says they're sorry. That December is what it took, and folks, that's the onset of the La Nina effect. Even if the index doesn't go any lower, all it has to do is survive about three or four more months, and the climate extreme swing back to cold will last into next year as well. Some quick shots around the world here. Pioneer Cabin, the iconic western U.S. structure, fell during the great storms lashing the area now. Just get through it, folks, when you come out the other side. There will be a lot of water problems that don't seem as bad after this. I have no silver lining across the pond. This is just miserable. Snow records in Greece, people without power and freezing temperatures in Turkey and even northern Africa, and record cold from Serbia to Poland has killed more than 10 people already, and they've barely begun their sweeps of some areas. Best of luck. Folks, users of the Disaster Prediction app got that earthquake alert map before anyone else. To get it for your device, just click the links you'll find on any of our websites. And of course, there's no reason you couldn't have predicted the earthquake in the Philippines as well. There were signals above the ground and below our feet. Come learn how at Observing the Frontier 2017, the Observer's Event of the Year. Scoreboard and other quake info is at quakewatch.net, obviously. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.